Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. Today I want to do kind of just like a super chill, using new products, maybe a little bit of chattiness. I don't know. Today I just really wanted to sit down and play with a lot of products that I haven't been able to play with recently because my filming schedule, it's not the same. It's not, it's not a normal filming schedule. <laughs> so I am really excited to do today's video because I have to tell you guys that I have an affiliate link. Oh my God. Merit Beauty was so gracious to reach out to me and provide me with a beautiful PR package. I will show you guys everything that came in their little makeup bag that they sent me. And they also provided me an affiliate link for all of you who are interested in shopping on their website. I do get a small commission if you guys shop through my affiliate link. So I just want you to know and be aware that you do not have to shop through my link. If you choose to do so, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Every penny that I make through my affiliate link definitely goes straight back into my YouTube channel so I can do more reviews for you on products that we all love. But without further ado, let's play with all of this makeup that I have here. I will go ahead and I'll just start with Merit Beauty since I did uh, just show that to you guys. Merit Beauty is a very natural beauty brand. I absolutely feel like this brand is kind of like Glossier's big sister. I don't typically wear super duper natural makeup on a daily basis. I do like my coverage. I do have a little bit of discoloration in my skin and I would actually like to pair this with some of the stuff that I do enjoy using on a normal basis and just kind of see how everything works together. But this is definitely going to be a full face of just new products and not just Merit Beauty. So I just I want to incorporate it into my normal everyday kind of routine. So let's get started. I'm going to apply the Hourglass Vanish Stick. This is in the shade Porcelain. So I'm going to apply that. So I'm going to be using the Merit Brush. Uh, this is their basically like a foundation brush, I believe. It's brush number one. Yeah, like a blending brush. So I'm going to use that with their uh, The Minimalist. This is a perfecting complexion stick. I actually really wanted to play with these when I had first gotten them, but I honestly, I just haven't had time. Uh, so I got the shade Linen. So we'll kind of just like open this together. So this is... The packaging, it's a little bit smaller as you can see from like my hourglass stick. So you can kind of just like see there. <laughs> but it doesn't look like too much less product than that. Mm. I like the texture. It's actually very similar to the, the texture of the uh, vanishing stick. Ooh, that blends. Oh my God, that blended so pretty. Whoa. Okay. God, my face feels so dry. Whoa. It's kind of getting a little bit warmer here in Southern California. Dude, this brush is bomb. I like totally just got distracted. This brush is so good. Um, yeah, so it's getting warmer and that means that my skin is starting to change again. So I'm like, crap. My skin is like super dry right now. Mmm. Oh, this is like a beautiful combination between the two of those. Look at how pretty that coverage is. I feel like my candle is like very loud today. Yes, you were very loud. Okay. This has to be the easiest I've had stick foundation go on. I usually feel like I'm struggling when it comes to stick foundations. That looks really pretty. I just sat forward a little bit because I want you guys to see how beautiful this texture is with those two combined. Uh, I have a little bit of texture right here on my cheeks and it just made it look a little more blurred. So pretty. I put a little bit of cream bronzer on right now. 
And this is another product that I received from Merit. It is called Cheat Color and it is the Beverly Hills Shade. It's this real pretty color. I love uh, like cream blushes that have a little bit more of a bronze kind of shade to it. So sometimes I tend to purchase darker shades uh, when it comes to like cream blushes. And I do have a couple of like peach ones that I wanna say Rare Beauty is one of the ones that I have that I really like. But I went with this shade just because in the situation that I didn't have time to do like a cream bronzer or a bronzer in general, I could just grab something like this and just put it on and be good to go. Let's dip into it with my brush. Oh, I like that. I do think you're supposed to just go in and like apply it and then blend it in with your fingertips, but I always prefer to use a brush. So I just, you know, make sure to tap it on the back of your hand. It's actually a really pretty color. Ooh, I'm gonna scoot closer for you guys. That's very pretty. This is like the perfect color if you want something that's gonna give you like a really nice, kind of like you've been sitting out in the sun kind of look. So I, I love this color. I just did it on the bridge of my nose just cause I, sometimes I like to look like, uh, yeah, like I was sitting out in the sun and, uh, which I normally don't. <laughs> so ooh, this is my bronzer. I'm just gonna take my little uh, Merit brush and I just wanna, wanna make sure everything's well blended. Cool, I like that product. So far, I really love the, all of the textures from the products that I've used so far. They're really nice. Okay, what else do I have that's new? Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to use the Highlight Balm. This is in the shade Kava. Just a real pretty, like, champagne-y, very fair shade. I still haven't put any powder on yet. I, I will. I just want to use all of my cream products first. Just tapping it on. I don't want it to lift too much of my makeup that I just put on. So I'm just gonna use my fingertips with this one. This feels very, very moisturizing. I think that I would definitely wanna use this one before I do powder. And then of course, like later I can go in with like a regular highlighter, but just to add like a real pretty radiance to the skin. Very nice. I, you could probably, let's try putting it on the fingertips. Oh. <laughs> probably go a little faster uh, with your fingertips. That's very pretty. Okay, I love that. This is like, you could stop at this point, put mascara on, do your brows, out the door. I haven't used this on film yet, so this is kind of a new powder to me. Speaking of Glossier, so I'm going to use my Wowder. Uh, so I use the shade G11, G12, and it has a really interesting sifter in there. I don't know if you can, whoa, see that? I don't really have any new concealers, mm. but I, I actually don't feel like I need concealer today. I'm having a good under eye day today. Got plenty of sleep last night. Okay, I'm just gonna dust that all over. Mm-hmm, that sits very nicely on top of that. Uh-huh. A couple of weeks ago, I was hanging out with my mom and I did a little bit of drugstore shopping. So I have this Milani. This is a tea rose, uh, rose powder blush. I've used it a couple of times and I really like it, but it is fairly new to me. So my next product that I'm going to use is, it's called a diamond transformer and I have been waiting for them to launch these. I, I think this one is a new one. This is by the brand Bitter Lace Beauty and I got a couple other products from them as well. I am going to just kind of like tap that on my cheekbones. I'll show you guys the other products that I got from them. So these are also called diamond transformers. I got uh, two like dark ones. I, I mean, you can use these on the face if you want, but 
I would primarily be using these on my eye area. You can see that they are two-toned. So this one, it's so pretty. It has so many different shades to it when you like twist it around and you're looking at it because from one angle it looks teal and green and another it looks pink and green. So it's very cool, very shifty. Uh, these, This one is called Radiant, Radiant Lux. I, I wonder if I could get you guys to see that. Pink and green? Nope. Nope. Can't see it. Sorry. I tried. I would just I feel like I would just use these as like toppers on top of like an eyeshadow look or like a um, inner corner sort of like metallic shade. And this one here, again, it looks very similar to that where one angle it's like purple and blue and the next it's a teal and green. It's very cool. This is the other one that I have. This is called Royal Facet. Very pretty. I, I wish you guys could see the more of the transition that it has, but I love these. Ah, uh, what the hey? Let me just go ahead and swatch the other one for you guys. Don't wanna leave you hanging with that one and with no swatch. They're really nicely pigmented too. So Radiant Lux is the bottom two. Very pretty. So the Diamond Transformer that I have, this one is in the shade White Diamond. I'll do a nice big swatch for you guys. There you go. This really reminds me of, well, kind of like a little bit more of a pigmented, uh, the one that Rihanna has, but I feel like the Rihanna one, it's a lot more, the uh, Diamond Bomb, I feel like it's a lot more glittery than this one is, but I am going to use this just a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones. Ooh, it's pretty. I love that. I am actually just spraying a little bit of hydration on my brush. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. I love this product for almost like everything. I use it for everything. <laughs> I also got a brow product from Merit Beauty. This is called Brow 1980. It's a volumizing pomade. Oh, it's a beautiful packaging. This is a very sleek tube. This is beautiful. So this is in the shade Blonde. I'm just curious. I, I think I'm gonna put it in my brows first and if I need to add pencil or anything, I will. Oh. That's cool. It's like filling in my brows. That's so cool. I always usually, for products like this, I always have to like go back at least in the tail of my brow and sort of reshape it a little bit. But you could totally use this by itself. Wow, this is really nice. I added a little bit of powder to my brows, so I actually I want to go back in with that brow volumizer just to, I guess, sort of add like another layer and a little bit more um, stay put, make my brows stay put. <laughs> okay, for my eyes, I'm really excited to use this palette today. So this is by Unearthly Cosmetics. I believe at one point in time they were also known as Alien Cosmetics but they did rebrand recently, so Unearthly Cosmetics is the new name that they will be using moving forward. I got the Fall Magic palette. I am extremely excited to play with this today. So let's open this up. Such beautiful shades. Oh, I can't wait to put these on my eyelids, yes. Okay, I don't even, gosh, I don't know what I wanna do. These are so beautiful. I'm gonna start with a little bit of a transitional shade. I'll start with Cozy. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, this blends so good. Uh, Cozy looks mauve in, like a pinky mauve in the palette, but I don't, um, it's not like super mauve on the lid. It's a beautiful shade. This is the second palette that I've owned by Unearthly Cosmetics. 
The other one I had uh, was around Halloween. I did a little look with that. I can't remember the name of the palette though, but it was super cute. Very horror themed. That just goes on like butter. This is so beautiful. I'm very impressed. This is amazing. Having a good makeup day today so far. I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Spiced. That's a really beautiful orange brown. I think I'm gonna go into Cocoa. I'm gonna try to use as many colors in this palette as I can as far as like the mattes go. Um, Cause I, I'm just gonna choose one of these beautiful like pressed metallic shades. So I wanna do a little bit of cocoa on my bottom lash line just to deepen it up a little bit. And I'll come up around on the top too. So I'm adding a little bit of a dark eyeliner in the kind of like as a wedge eyeliner to give me a little bit more dimension to the eye. This one here is called Branch. I'm gonna go in with that and kind of smoke that color out a little bit. This has definitely become like one of my favorite ways to put eyeliner on and then to smoke it out a little bit. It really helps to lift the eye and it gives you like a really pretty like soft sultry look to the eyes. Trust me, I love me my winged eyeliner, but my eyes are such a heavy fold that sometimes doing winged eyeliner, it doesn't always come out very good. <laughs> Or it's just me, like more or less like not something that I want to wear like every day. Like this is way easier for me to do like every day. But I know there's other people that would say that doing a winged eyeliner, they got that on lock. They know how to do it super fast. I just, I'm not one of those people that can do a winged eyeliner super fast. I think today I'd like to do the shade right here. This is the shade Autumn. Put that uh, right in the inner corner of the eye. Ooh. So pretty. I just want to swatch that. Oh my God, so pretty. Look at that. Beautiful, super creamy. Wow, that was really beautiful. Okay, I, I don't feel like I need to put down like a glitter primer. So I'm just going to dip into it first and then see if it's uh, better to dip into it with a brush or if using a finger is easier. Nope, it seems like just using a brush is just as effective as a, using your finger. Beautiful. I, I am going to go back in because I want it to be a little bit heavier with a finger uh, swatch. Uh, yes, I love this. This is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I remember really liking that other palette as well, but I believe the other palette that I have doesn't really have shades like this one that are more of a chunkier glitter, or excuse me, a chunkier metallic shade. I have another product from Merit. This is the Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. Wow, I love all of their packaging. This is so pretty. Very chic. This is a very chic brand. I love their packaging. Nice wand, I like this wand. I actually really enjoy just like a very basic wand. The only thing I feel like I don't really get from this mascara, I don't, I don't see the lengthening aspect of it, but the wand is very nice. I feel like it does uh, grab onto all of my lashes, but I don't feel like a lengthening from it. I like, I, I don't see it here. I, I don't even see it in the monitor, so, but it's nice. I feel like it's actually giving me more volume than it is lengthening. And the true test for this mascara will definitely be whether or not it comes off on my brow bone. It's a pretty buildable mascara, so you will get a little bit more length if you do like maybe two or three coats. I got a new lip liner and lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is the Satin Rouge Lipstick. I got the shade Butterscotch. 
I wanted to get something that I don't normally have. I wanted to step outside of my box a little bit and uh, try something different. So this is butterscotch here. It's a really interesting, kind of more of like a orangey tone. It's an interesting color. It's, I actually really like it. And I also picked up the lip liner. This is in the shade Warm Taupe. So I wanted something that would be a little bit darker than the uh, lipstick itself. And I, I have used this once before and I absolutely, there's something about having a wood pencil as a lip liner that I just, I absolutely love having wood pencils. So you can get a really nice fine tip from it. And I, I really like how this one sits in my hands when I'm using it because it's actually like a square. You might be able to see like the ridges on here, but it's more of like a squared off pencil. So it makes it really easy to hold for me. Beautiful, I love it. All right, there is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was, like I said, gonna be a super chill video. I also wanted to find out if you guys would like for me to do maybe a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial using possibly some of the products that I got in my Valentine's Mystery Box unboxing from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I do also have the ColourPop, I guess like Valentine's collection. It's called the Secret Admirer Collection. So let me know if you guys would like me to do a video on that. I would really love to do a Valentine's makeup tutorial. I think that would be really fun. And if there's any other types of videos that you guys would love to see from me, please let me know. I would really love to get into doing more tutorial videos regarding like how to do your eyeliner, how to contour, my everyday like go-to makeup look, uh, maybe blush placement and the differences that it makes. So I wanna get into more of like makeup artistry type of videos, maybe even go over my favorite products as far as like eyeliners, foundations, powders, and do separate videos for all of those. Just let me know down in the comments below if that's something that you guys would be interested in and the types of videos that you'd like to see me do in the future. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell if you'd love to see more of this face right here. And until my next video, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.